Hey guys, let's talk about the solution that I have here for my MacBook Pro M2 working with dual monitors. So basically I have the main monitor here and two extra monitors, so a total of three monitors, or I can just close this lid here and work with two monitors. It works either way without using extra software, right? So I'm using just this docking station from Tobin One. There's this special cable here that I'm gonna talk about later, right? So I don't need any software. So if you take a look here, for example, I can just bring the display link manager. That's the software that I usually use when I'm using like a different docking station. And that's not the case for this one, okay? So I can come here and just quit. I click and I confirm. So I quit the software. So there's no display link manager right now and I still have all monitors working here with this MacBook Pro M2, also works with M1, okay? So be aware that I have I have this cable here connecting to this Tobin One. Okay, let me just move this so you see better. I can explain here that I'm using this cable. Okay, let me just unplug it here so you see better what I mean. There we go, you see that I have two ports here. I'll just get some focus, you see there, two ports, USB ports, that comes with the MacBook Pro. And for the Tobin one, it comes with this cable. You see, two connections here, right? So I just connect here to my MacBook Pro. There we go. And I have the Tobin one working that way, okay? Let me just wait for it to reconnect. There we go. It connects back, so I have the three monitors working again. Okay, so it doesn't matter if I just disconnect and connect again, it comes the same way that was before. Let me just show you that I have here this setup. So here in system, let me just bring it here. You see that I have displays and the three monitors, okay? I can arrange in different ways. So here I have my laptop and then the two monitors on the top. So I can freely move my mouse, you see, between the monitors and work just fine, right? And as you can see, I have this screen here with my web browser showing my channel. By the way, just subscribe to my channel, okay? I, I appreciate that, I'm helping you here with the solution so you can help me by subscribing, all right? Here I have another browser with the Tobin One website. They have a lot of different docking station. I'm testing this one right now and I like very much. And then I can like just use my DaVinci Resolve here, workspace, and bring another monitor there, another image to the monitor. Oh, now that I disconnected and connected again, I need to restart my software, okay? But because usually what I do is just start everything, right? I start my computer, and then I see all the screens, and then I start the software. The software knows that I have more than one computer, more than one monitor there. Let me just bring something here back so I can show you guys how it works. Basically, I'm loading the project again. You see there that I have the project here now, okay? So I can work that way with two screens or I can select a different sc screen. So basically, I can use this one plus this one or the other one with my DaVinci Resolve. So I just need to come here to the workspace and change the video feed here to the other monitor and there we go. Okay, just remember to start uh, everything before you start the software. Okay? If it's connected, connect it again. The software doesn't know that you have more monitors and doesn't work. But most of the time it works that way, pretty fast, pretty good. Let me just disconnect the monitor here again. So workspace here, video clean, none. And then I have my browser back. So it works pretty fine. Let me just close the lid so you see how it works. So when I close here, you see that changes and my DaVinci Resolve goes there. And now I can use that way. So I can just move, you see here, I have just one cable. I can put it here and move this way, all right? Now I don't have any, mon any uh, keyboard here, but I can use an external keyboard. Let me just get one here. There we go. So I have this one, which is connected to the station via dongle. So I have a USB dongle back there. So I don't use this one because I can connect any device here. So I don't waste this space, right? So I have this wireless keyboard and also a wireless 
uh, mouse, so I can use that way. It works pretty good. And also, let me just bring back here so I can show better how it works. There we go. That way. And here the docking station. Okay. I want to show you here the back part of the docking station. Let me just pull the cables so I show you better. There we go. Okay. So see here I have the connection to power. So basically the power supply. And then I have the dongle connected here to a USB port. I have an extra USB 2.0, 3.0, a connection with two gigabits per second for Ethernet. If you want to use, to use Ethernet, here headphones, connection for headphones, and the display port or the HDMI. You can use one or another, okay? Either one. HDMI 2 in here, HDMI 1. So basically display one and display two. So two display, no more than that. And here, the special cable that I showed back there. Let me just show here. So it's, there we go. Okay, so this cable that comes with the device and just connect it here. All right, pretty nice, huh? You see? And also here in the front of the dock station, you see, here's the name, an LED that, that you see that's on. Here for the headphones, SD card and micro SD. 10 gigabits per second and 20 watts as well, USB-C. So you can connect a cell phone here, for example, and power it up. 10 gigabits per second as well for um, this USB-C port and USB-A with 10 gigabits per second as well. And on off button. So pretty simple. Let me just connect everything back. So you just get yours, for example, you just connect here and you connect to your computer. So pretty simple. And then the display on the HDMI number one. And then you can use display port or HDMI number two, just like I have here. Okay, so you connect everything the way and make sure that's on. So you see here, that's on right now. And then you just need everything to go up it takes a while, right? And then you can also use any port here to connect this one, for example. Okay, so if you wanna do something fast, you need to, to use this one, okay? So it's a Orinoco that has fast uh, speed. Then I can connect here and see on my computer. Let me just open here and show you that I have everything back. There we go. So it brings back my monitor here, the other one here. And in a while, it's going to show the other one. Here's just rearranging again because I just disconnected everything. So it's back in place, right? Working again. Pretty fine, okay? So guys, that's the way you can work with this one. It's pretty good, works pretty fine. Let me just show you here as well, the connection with the USB here. When I connect and I bring some, uh, file here to copy. So I have here this file on my USB drive. Let me just bring another file manager here or finder, right? And copy here to the desktop. So you see how fast it is. So I will copy this video here to the desktop. I will let it go. And there we go. It's less than a second. I copied here a 200 megabytes file. So pretty fast and then works pretty well, okay? So guys, this is a good device. I really recommend because you don't take any processing from your computer. You just plug everything and it starts working right away. You just need to rearrange here your screens the way you want in the system settings and here in this display part, right? And you're good to go. I have it here, the three monitors and I can just rearrange them and I'm good to go. So if you like this one, you can just go to Amazon and get yours there, okay? I highly recommend this one. It's the Tobin one, and I'll leave the link here in the description. You can get yours there on Amazon. So thank you for watching this video, and I see you in the next one.